Hello everyone and welcome to another how-to video for the Triumph Trident 660. This time it's how to change your oil. Now I'm assuming you have a paddock stand with bobbins, but you're also going to need a shallow drain pan. Nothing else is going to fit under there. You also need the long narrow funnel, the red one. Uh, I would also recommend having a torque wrench, an 8mm hex driver, 17mm socket, oil filter wrench. Uh, it uses a K&N 1 filter and Castro Power 4T 10W40 oil. Uh, I would also recommend getting uh, another drain washer sealer. Now some of these uh, tools you don't necessarily need. You can get a specific oil filter wrench, but this is what I use. Alright, so step one, you want to make sure that the bike is warmed up. Uh, at least let it idle for five minutes or take it for a ride around the block. Uh, and then put it up on the paddock stand so that it is sitting upright and level. Uh, then you're going to use your ratchet and the 8mm socket to uh, break open uh, the, the drain plug and let the oil drain out into the shallow pan. Now if, you're look, if you can look closely there, you'll see that the uh, sealing washer uh, on the drain plug did not come off. So you want to make sure that does come off away from the pan or at least stays on the plug. Um, otherwise you're going to have two plug or two washers on there and you're going to have a bad time. Uh, I like to use a uh, oil filter wrench. You can get the specific ones that kind of fit over it like a socket, but uh, this thing right here with the orange handles, uh, this has got me out of more jams than, than I can count. And it saves you from having to do something silly like driving a screwdriver through the oil filter housing and removing it that way. It's just a lot easier to do it this way. If you go slow, go easy. There's a lot of other pipes and plumbing there for the cooling system, so just take your time. Uh, and then just spin it off with your fingers. Uh, it's A good bit of it is going to drain out, as you can see there. Uh, so just be careful. Don't want to drop the filter into the pan and splash oil everywhere. Uh, as you can see, I also use a piece of cardboard or something just as an extra layer of protection from the floor. But as you'll see later, it also makes it easier to slide the whole thing out of the way when you go to put everything back together. Now here's the problem you're going to want to watch out for. This happens a lot with uh, a lot of Triumph models. If you look closely at the oil filter housing there, the washer, the sealer, the sealing washer, the o-ring, it did not come off. So sometimes they stick. Usually they just stick in one piece, but you want to be careful and make sure that it does, doesn't break apart into different pieces and it comes off all together. Otherwise you have to scrape uh, the rest of it with uh, maybe a flat bladed screwdriver or something just to make sure you get all of that clean. Otherwise, when you go to put the new filter on, it's not going to make a tight seal uh, and you're going to get you're going to get oil everywhere and you're going to have, again, another bad time. So just making sure I got all that off there and I am going to take the uh, plug washer off in a second. Just want to make sure everything is uh, cleaned up and nothing is sticking there. And this is when I remove the plug washer. So I got all of that off. It's just about finished draining. Go ahead and put the filter back on first. You're going to get a few more drops out of the drain. And just hand tighten it for now. Then make sure you got your new washer back on the plug. Go ahead and reinstall that. Just finger tight again is fine. And here's where I like using uh, the cardboard is you can just slide everything out of the way as you've got it all cleaned up and then go ahead and use your torque wrench and torque everything back down to spec. This is also why I like to use the K&N filter since it has the 17 millimeter um, bolt head, if you will, for want of a better word, you can use a 17 millimeter socket uh, to torque that back down to, to specs. Uh, Triumph will gladly sell you a, a specific part just to go on those filters, but um, I've had good luck with the k &N filters. They work just fine. All right, now let's go ahead and get ready to put the new oil back in. Yeah, check and make sure that the O-ring on 
on the plug is is still fresh and this is where I said earlier the the blue uh, funnel did not work you want a long skinny funnel like this red one and I went ahead and secured it to the frame up above and you want to put in one two and three quarts this is almost enough I did have to add some uh, some more oil after uh, I was able to start it up and you can see from the beads of sweat on my forehead there that it is hotter than balls in my garage all right go ahead and start it up let it run for about 60 seconds you see that the low oil, low oil pressure warning light turned off almost instantaneously uh, just let it run, check, take a look, make sure nothing is leaking, uh, that you had a good seal on the drain plug and on the oil filter. And now you want to double check your oil level. Make sure the bike is still upright. You're going to want to remove the dipstick, wipe it down, reinstall the dipstick fully, uh, and then take it out and get your reading. It should be on the upper marker. So as you can see in a little bit, mine was on the lower marker. Uh, and so I put some more oil in about another quarter of a quart 250 milliliters uh, Just did that slowly checked and rechecked a couple of times just to make sure it was just right just below the upper marker You'd probably say if it was if it was in between the two of them But I wanted to go ahead and follow the directions in the manual and that's about all there is to it You do this you're gonna save a lot of money on your service bills. So thanks for watching